So we're gonna go ahead and jump right into the video. I'm I already did my brows, got my primer, I concealed my brows. They look <laughs> this is probably like the one of the best times I've done my brows. I, I use another brush. So we're going to use the Go palette from Coastal Scents that I use so many on so many looks. But I recorded this look. Well, I did this look a couple weeks ago, and I used this palette. And I'm gonna be using the browns and this um what did I use the black? I don't think I used yes, I did go back. I'm gonna use the brown, this gray, and then I'm going with the black to put it on top. And then I'm gonna use some blue eyeliner. So we just gonna we just gonna get on with the look. I bet you guys did not know that we're gonna do a voiceover today for this video. It's really hard for me to talk in videos, like, because I just be so focused on what I'm doing. It, it's really hard. But we're just gonna pop that brown in our crease and we're gonna blend it to our liking. And then we're gonna go in with that color I just showed you in the video and we're gonna put it under our brow bone to give it a highlight. And I wanted this look to be very dark with the blue liner plus gold like I, I was just feeling all the colors and you know that's what we did so then we're gonna go in with that gray now I did go in with my fix plus and I did spray it and then I fanned my brush because the color did not um, come up well when I first patted it on my lid so I did just use that and of course it made my lid look like that really pretty especially that is exactly what I was going for so we're just gonna go ahead and pat that on our lid Then we're going to go in with my stick foundation and the name Truffle. I don't know if I like this. I don't know if I don't like it. I have mixed reviews on it um, because some of the days that I've used it, I just did not like it. I mean, some days I use it, it stays on well, gives me a nice coverage. As you can see right there in the video, I don't know. I think I might just be tripping. So I'm trying to like try it out or use it all before I tell my friend like to use it as a foundation and not to like contour with. So we're just going to have to blend that out. My blend game is strong, okay? Then we're going to take my favorite concealer. Well, one of my favorite concealers, you know, my other one, my ride or die is my um, LA Girl Concealer in the Beautiful Bronze. But I've been using this bad boy for a while and it is a tart shape sharp tar shape tape concealer i think that's what's called and the name rich i did go a little dramatic with the concealer today but that's fine just remember that you are not buying my makeup <laughs> but i but i mean it was an accident i didn't do it on purpose but i just went with it it's not like i could put the concealer back in my tube i mean it's on my face so just just blend it out and it uh once you blend it out and use all your the rest of your face makeup, you're not even going to be able to tell that I used that much concealer on accident. So then we're going to take my favorite Sasha Buttercup powder. And this is, I don't know what made, I don't know why I waited so long to get this powder. Uh, look how beautiful it is. Look how beautiful it is under my eye. And you know what's crazy? I was so into this powder, I didn't even use my MAC powder to set my face like I normally do after I use that powder. So all my face is just this setting powder in those areas, and that was it. I, I used no um, no MAC product, no L'Oreal setting, you know, setting face powder. So I was really shocked after I was, like, looking at the video. I was like, you did not even, okay, but... Still came out pretty beat. Then as you see me now, I am contouring with Film Noir from MAC. I don't think I've stated it like a video, but when I first started contouring, I got this like powder from the beauty supply store. 
I cannot find that powder in the shade that it was. It was like a dark, rich tone, just like this. Could not find it. I had to move on to other things. Um, I end up using this Shea Moisture Powder that I still use here and there, depending on the look that I'm going for. But ever since I met this one, we've been best friends ever since. I have not hit pan on it, and it's, it's just amazing. Like, that is something from Mac that I will repurchase again. Then we're going to go in with um, our concealer concealer and that is just from NYX. I will have everything in the description bar below this time. It is very time consuming but I will do that. Oh and I didn't state that the blush I used was this blush from the uh, Boxy Charm box. I do not know the know it off like the top of my head but everything will be down the below uh down below. Then we're gonna go in with a highlighter from the crayon case and it's called Anglola. I love it. As you see, I do place it and then blend it. I feel like it works easier for me. Sometimes when I use a fan brush, it, I don't know. I don't get the same result as I get when I do it like this, when I use that type of, like, loose powder highlight. So, the brush is what works best for me. It's a pretty color. You should check it out. I will have that information down below to the website that you can check all this stuff out that I've used in this video. Then we're going to go in with um, Espresso Lip Liner from NYX. Favorite. I talked about it in my Lipstick on the Go video, so we're not going to say much about it. Then I go in with my NYX Lingerie Lip and Embellishment. It's a really pinky purplish color. Really gorgeous. Pinky, pinky purple, brownish, whatever color you want to describe. However you want to describe that, that's what color that is. Okay, then I go back in with the, uh, the lip liner. And then I think I set my face in this video with my, was it my Fix Plus? It might have been my Fix Plus. Y'all don't know. I didn't even show that in the video, but I think it was my Fix Plus. Don't quote me. All right, guys. Bye.